Welcome everybody to the AFL here on Centennial Station where the 2-0 Tipton Trojans, an amazing, amazing team. We're going to have to actually look at their depth chart once we get into this game. Take on the New York Twins and looking at this already, Colin McFarlane. Again, let me remind you, all of Tipton's, you know, main players are from the area. You know, they, they all are drafted from this general area. Same as Altoona. So here we go. Let's look at this. Colin McFarlane, their starting quarterback. You know, he's a young guy. He's here. And look at that. B-plus throw accuracy. His throw power isn't great. His awareness is great. And his speed's okay. Taking on William Robbins, who's got, you know, pretty average across the board. And then that rough speed and awareness. Take a look at that running back position. The rushing leader. This guy has, what, 400 yards or a little more than that a little over 400 yards in two games will nixon c speed b plus tackle break b awareness and a block look at Deshaun neal a speed d plus tackle break b awareness and c plus block two very opposite running backs and i'm excited to see how that plays out nate ravenstein grandson of bill ravenstein of the altoona steam with a B plus speed, B catch, C awareness, and D plus blocking. Dion Rodriguez though, B speed, A plus catch, C awareness, and B plus or D plus blocking. These receivers are almost neck for neck. Dion beats him out with the catching. Nate beats him out in the speed. I'm really excited to see how those two also pair out. And this is a blowout. The Twins have an 11% chance of winning. Well, Danny, Joe, Dave, and James, all four are going to take the Trojans here tonight. Very excited to see how they play. We have not seen them play week one or two due to glitches within the game. I was able to get it fixed, though. And I'm excited to see how this goes. And look at this. Here we go. Welcome, everybody to New York, where the Tipton Trojans travel just up north, what, five or so hours to face the Twins. And here we go, after the return down to the 33, I really don't like that angle, it doesn't give any names. The Trojans are here and ready to go, a very run-dominated team. Play action to start, Colin McFarlane lobbing this one up, and it just, just missed. Second and ten again, a very run dominated team. Let's go ahead and take a look at the step here, like I said. Colin McFarlane at B overall or B plus overall. Will Nixon at B plus overall. Nate Ravenstein at B plus overall. Uh Brooklyn Carper at A overall. He's an extremely amazing defensive lineman. And then I forget NJ Watt at A overall. He's a cornerback. Um he was one of those guys, could have went to Altoona, could have went to Tipton. Just so happened he ended up here. And then sadly, Cooper Keen, a middle linebacker, was also, or a linebacker, sorry, was also supposed to beat him. Tipped him. He got drafted. Will Nixon again. Look at him. Breaks the first one. And he goes for 12, 13 yards. Holy cow. He just shook that man off like he was nothing and just chugged along. for a loss. That's Chris Henninger. I'm assuming his name's Chris. But Henninger there. I didn't expect them to get stopped this easily. It's up. Is it good? It is. 
55 yards out. George. Gonna get five. Third and one here.
safety. The Twins, Mc, McCormick, takes down Will Nixon for a safety in the end zone. This team is 3 to 2 right now, with 3.33 left in the second. But sadly, you know, stats exist, so they will know it was a safety. Stinks for the Trojans, but the casual fan might not realize that. And NJ Watt on the return, that's actually kind of interesting. They have a cornerback. Obviously, I identified McFarlane and Nixon. I don't see Ravenstein, NJ Watt, Tonight. or uh, working Carper. Can be Tyler there in the flats? Lead by one after the field two. Tonight. McFarland the throw in the flats. It's Nixon. Get through one for the first there. The pass, McFarlane. Has a man in the flats, it's Tyler again. Hike. The pass, could be no, look at him. It's the first, but there's a flag. Second and 15. Confirm the pass. Finds Nixon up the pipe. Good for 10. Brings up third and five. They're going to call their first time out. Confirm the pass. Up the pipe and no. Incomplete. drops it. Fourth and five. They got to go for it, I think. No, they're gonna punt. Tonight. A big punt, but I think it's gonna be a touchback. And it will. From the 20 with 46 left in the half, the Twins lead 9-3 with the ball. Go! Hits the flats with Rodriguez and he gets out of bounds quick.
Robbins hitting the flat there. Miley, that's going to be good for a first and more. Clock continues to run, 32 and going, as the Twins don't use a timeout here. Go! Robbins to throw. Has space up the pipe. Brought in by McDaniels. And a huge throw by Robbins with pressure in front. They call a timeout. Set up. 9-3 looking for the end zone. No, they find four. Does he get out of bounds? He does. Nine seconds with two and three. Or two and third. Go! They're going for the field goal. And they're gonna make it 12 to 3 early on. And then Jay Ward on the return. Gonna shake off one. Cuts back and he gets brought down at the 31. One second remaining. <laughs> and McFarland in the pass. Almost intercepted to end the half. 12 to 3, the Twins lead. The Trojans are struggling dearly this drive. Robbins is on one, however. Let's go ahead and check numbers while we're here. Um, depth chart. Oh, okay, well we started the half. I'm going depth chart. McFarland is number four, we know that. Lennox is 44. 22 is Raven sign, okay. Oh, okay. D1 Brooklyn is 99. NJ is 49, okay. So 49. 99, 22, 44, and 4. Okay. New York starts with the ball as well. Neil hurls one. Hits the edge, almost broke free as well. Gets down to the 32. Keep good for two as Robbins goes down third and one now. Go! And Robbins keeps it again. He gets blown up. Big TFL by Phelps. And it's fourth and two. They're going to punch. Will be a touchback. Seven fifteen in the third. The Trojans trying here. Motion's a man out. Nixon shaking one. Gets up for positive yardage, and he gets four. Brings up second and six, and Franklin goes down with a leg injury. It's actually a wide receiver. He's expected to return. That's good. I think that's a really sign for right. Nixon on the run gets blown up huge TFL. This Twins offensive line is a full of beasts. Set up. Farland the pass. It's Roethlisberger. The Roethlis is that Ben Roethlisberger? Touchdown! Oh my god! Is that Ben? No, don't tell me that's Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, Brock. Brock Roethlisberger is in the Thanks. AFL. And he just threw a touchdown. And the PAT was missed. 
It is 12 to 9. George missed a field goal. Okay. Or a PAT, sorry. Kick off down to the goal line. Neil to return all the way back. And he's met early. With from the others, well down to the 24. Fuller. Defensive back goes down with the leg injury. He's expected to return. <coughs> the pass, Robbins. Looking. Swatted away. Who was that? And Lambert is back. <laughs> Neil to the outside. Breaks one, gets brought down. He actually shook off NJ Watt there. I think that was number 22. Oh no, he's not number 22. My bad. Third and four here. Deshaun Neal. 10 rushes, 6 yards. Robbins the pass. Deep. And it's overthrown. Almost picked, but it's just swatted away there. Fourth and four. Now a punt will be in order. And a full start in the offense. Fourth and nine as well now. Off for the punt. Back to return. That's going to be Becker. Becker cutting back. He breaks one. Gets brought down for 34. And the Fowler is back. Harden taking off pitches it to Williams. Oh yeah, Will Nixon. I don't know why I thought his last name was Williams, but second and four. Will Nixon, not Will Williams. Motion the man in there. Another handoff to Will Nixon. This going to be a TFL by Weaver. Actually, get a yard there. And Franklin, wide receiver, is back as well. Pittsburgh right. Nixon, he's gonna shake one, can't shake another, gets a loss actually by McCormick there on the TFL. They trail by four, or three, sorry, and they have fourth and four, they will punt. <coughs> Takes one, Neil breaks out of another, gets to the 30, but he's brought down 31 actually. And third, Ron sets a pass deep as well. 2 on 1, swatted down by the defense. Said Hike. Run the pass. Has one. Neil brings it in off the missed interception. First and 10, the twins stay alive.
need the sub, but I don't think it's Neil back there. It's Graves. And what's what's that guy doing? He's just backpedaling. Five yard pickup, jeez. He got two yards, so someone ran the second place. A big tackle at the edge and he's going 20 yards almost 25 yards downfield a huge run for McFarlane on the QB keep and he gets 26 actually jeez how does that not count as a rush it says zero rushes Tonight. McFarlane in the pass now looking in the flats it's Tyler for what six no oh, even four Nathaniel Tyler. What the oh, other guy's name is? Looking deep, one on one. It's Franklin. Passing is Robbins, and it's no good, but there's a flag, and it's hooning on the offense. The Tipton Trojans will decline. Trojans now have the ball with a minute 26, and they're out there in winning formation. However, they have to be careful. If they do this too many times, they could actually flip a safety. You know, they're going to hand it off to Nixon being smart. Nixon just getting his stats up as best as he can. The Twins call a timeout after that 8-yard run. And Will Nixon, 12 rushes, 31 yards. A man that's gotten over 100, 150 yards the last two games. Not a good game. McFarland breaks a sack. And finally gets brought down and gets sacked by McFarland. He's having himself a game. Third and five now. Jeffrey McCormick, three tackles, one sack, but the other two tackles were TFLs. Tonight. That's hand off to Nixon. Nixon stretching for three. And they call a timeout, fourth and two. 
The Trojans messed up big. They're set to punt at a minute seven. Go! Guaranteed to get this ball. No, he just lets the ball go. They're going to let him pin him. They're going to pin the Twins back at the 30 flat. As Henninger is also out with a back injury, not expected to return. They have to stop them from going 70 yards in 59 seconds. They have no timeouts as well. And off the New York. You know, decent run for three. Second and seven. Claw continues to go though. The Twins gotta move fast. Robbins lining up. And under center. Motions a man out. And a 3 1 1. Looking to pass now. Has a man in the flats. He steps up and he goes down. The sack brought in by Bird. It's third and 11. Clock goes. 26, 25, 24 and going. Go! Robin spikes the ball with 21. It's fourth and 11. <clears throat> Jermaine Bird. Three tackles, one sack. And here we go. Fourth and 11. 21 seconds. Robbins motions a man over in a 3 2 Fight. formation. And the snap. Looking deep. Brought in by Rodriguez. But the clock is running. They're not in field goal range yet. And even if they were, they need a touchdown to even come close to time. Robbins motioning a man. You don't have time. Or how do they waste the time out? I'm confused. Fight. Clock stops. Robbins. Has a man in the flat. It's a Myers for three. Give him two. 13 yards. They're just outside of field goal range. However, they're down by four. So they need a touchdown, like I said. Situation is all it is. 13 seconds. Robbins the pass. Man up the middle. A C4. Down at the 30. Six, five, four, three, two. One, and that's the game. The Trojans barely sneak out with the win. 16 to 12 as Colin McFarlane, your quarterback, was your player of the game with 2-0 for 1,874 yards and two touchdowns. And Phelps was your defensive player. One sack, one TFL, and 10 tackles. What a man there. Coming in clutch. I mean, look, look at this. Running back, right? Oh, my bad. 34 yards on 13 attempts is awful. Especially when Neil put out 112 for 21. Neil definitely proved speed kills. And Nixon, I feel like, just also wasn't getting a ton of great space by his offensive line either. A lot of those plays were all him.